Ladies and gentlemen, two-time Oscar winner, Barbara Streisand. He's always interesting. He's always interested. He's very smart, very private. He's self-assured but shy, and I adored working with him. Robert Redford's work as an actor, director, and producer always represents the man himself, the intellectual, the artist, the cowboy. He has a passion for telling stories that reflect the strengths and the vulnerabilities of the American spirit, our struggle to achieve what is highest in our nature. And though we don't always succeed, Robert Redford's films make certain that we celebrate the effort. Redford took charge of his own career from the very beginning, always working closely with writers, his work as an actor and as a director is always skillfully subtle, restrained, and yet deeply emotional. He's a listener, whether he's exploring the shadow of American politics, the hidden emotional life of the perfect American family, or a nation's disillusionment. Always a progressive thinker and wanting to give something back, in 1981, he established the Sundance Institute, which has become a platform for new artists to develop their skills, and has given the world <laughs> The festival has given the world a first look at new generations of bold and talented independent voices. His impact on the film industry is indelible. It's impossible to reduce it all to uh, four minutes, but here are some of the reasons that Robert Redford remains a beloved and invaluable force in American film. I wasn't cheating. Come on. I wasn't cheating. You can die. For that matter, you can both die. You hear that? If he invites us to stay, then we'll go. We're going to leave anyway. He's got to invite us to stick around. He'll draw on you. He's ready. You don't know how fast he is. I'm over the hill, but it can't happen to you. And that's just what I want to hear. against old, young against poor. This country cannot house its houseless, feed its foodless. Hi, I'm Bob Woodward of the Washington Post. Yes, yes, what is it? If you're gonna do it, do it right, here my notes. If you're gonna hype it, hype it with the facts. I don't mind what you did, I mind the way you did it. Bill of Rights? What Bill of Rights? We don't have any Bill of Rights. We don't have free speech in this country. We never will have. What are you telling me to do? Sit by and shut up just because it's dangerous? I'm telling you it's a waste. That's what I'm telling you. And that those men and their families are only going to get hurt. And that nothing is going to change. Nothing. And after jail, after five or six years of bad blood, when it's practical for some fascist producer to hire some communist writer to save his ass because his hit movie's in trouble, he'll do it! I really want to get a shot of the three of you men. Give me the camera, Calvin. Not please. until I get a picture of the two of you. Cal. Hang on a sec. Give me the damn camera! This was an idea that was born out of experience, not just some token gesture of goodwill. For me personally, I wanted to try 
to create something that I never had that I felt I missed, and that was a sense of community so that we could maintain some kind of purity in a business that's hard to, where filmmakers come together and share the work amongst themselves. You take pictures, beautiful pictures, but of empty streets and trees with no leaves, November. Why haven't you asked me to untie your hands? for you one million dollars for one night with your wife hey i don't mean nothing by it i just don't know many regular girls is all i don't even know you you know me i'm just like you it's two in the morning and i don't know nobody God, you're hideous. Why do you even bother? I missed you, too. When it's done, if I'm dead, kill him. Love to. I'm very, very proud to bestow the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences Honorary Oscar for Lifetime Achievement to a man who gave me one of the most exciting and memorable experiences of my career. I was thrilled to be his leading lady, and I'm thrilled to present this award to Robert Redford. <laughs> I guess this is a sequel, huh, Babs? <laughs> well, uh, Barbara's right. I am, I am shy. It's a funny kind of business to be shy in, but certainly feel that way tonight. But I think there certainly is a word of appreciation in order for being honored in such a way. You know, much of what happens here tonight is probably going to be forgotten in a week or so. But what's not going to be forgotten is what it means to those of us who are receiving awards or being honored tonight, and to those close to us. For those people, it could be the moment of a lifetime. So in my appreciation, I'd, I'd like to say what it means for me. I've spent most of my life just focused on the road ahead. I'm not looking back. But now tonight, I'm seeing in the rearview mirror that there's something I've not thought about much called history. And what moves me tonight is that I'm being joined by colleagues and peers to reflect on that history. Now, there really are only two areas. Uh, one is my personal work, which is the most important to me. And the other is trying to put something back into an industry that's been good to me. And of course, Sundance is a manifestation of that. And the result? Well, a grand, grand collaboration 
of artists and colleagues who have joined to support and help give a voice to new artists. It was those people who have supported us along the way, who have believed and participated. Tonight, I would really like to thank you deeply. We have a great industry, and we all know that. We're here because we know it. We love it. It's a solid and healthy industry, but even though it is, I really believe it's going to be important in the years to come to make sure that we embrace the risks as well as the sure things, to make sure that freedom of artistic expression is nurtured and kept alive. Because I believe that in keeping diversity alive, it'll help keep our industry alive. Now, as we can see of late, the world around us is in a sea change. It's just simply not the same world anymore. And as we all struggle to find our way with it, to get a grip, to make sense out of the chaos and the destruction and the tragedy, one word that emerges is the word freedom its importance, its rarity, and how fortunate we are to have it, to be able to be part of a freedom of expression that allows us as artists to tell our stories in our own way about the human condition, the complexities of life, the world around us is a gift and not one to be taken lightly. But then I think the glory of art is that it can not only survive change, but can lead it. As an artist, I just can't think of a better life than the one that I've been blessed with. It's just a great ride with many wonderful relationships and experiences along the way. And it's a ride I hope to continue. So tonight, I want to acknowledge my family, my love for them, my lady, the Academy, and all of you for giving me this honor. Thank you. Please welcome a nominee tonight, Academy Award winner,